Interesting facts about masturbations. Popular terms for masturbation include onanism, autoeroticism, solitary sex, and sex for one. Both humans and animals masturbate. The word, masturbation, derives from the Latin word mas, masculine, plus terbere, move violently. A variant etymology is mons, hand, plus struprum, debauch. Slang terms for masturbation are abundant and, for men, include wank, jerk off, assault on a friendly weapon, being your own best friend, charming the cobra, Custer's last stand, one man show, playing the organ, punishing the bishop, and roughing up the suspect. For women, slang terms for masturbation include the following, a night with the girls, engaging in safe sex, manual override, parting the Red Sea, and squeezing the peach. Physicians purposely created Kellogg's corn flakes and graham crackers to be as bland as possible because they believed such food would curb the desire to masturbate. The first surviving description of female masturbation was written by the French author Restif de la Breton, quoted by Havelock Ellis in The Evolution of Modesty, 1897. Restif describes a woman looking out of window at a young man while touching herself. Since prehistoric times, masturbation has been depicted in art. Some men and women practice edging during masturbation. This is when they masturbate until they nearly reach orgasm and then stop to reduce excitement and then begin again, sometimes multiple times to achieve a stronger orgasm. One of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, Dr. Benjamin Rush, believed that masturbation was the cause of poor eyesight, epilepsy, poor memory, and tuberculosis. Women especially would become feeble-minded and more susceptible to evil if they masturbated. The prevalence of circumcision in the United States today is because the medical community in the past believed that circumcision would help curtail masturbation. According to Freud, masturbation is the primary addiction, meaning that all other addictions merely shadow the desire for self-stimulation. American physicians of the early 20th century treated hysteria in women by manually stimulating their genitalia to create hysterical paroxysms. This ultimately led to the first vibrators, which were originally steam-powered. As late as 1972, the American Medical Association maintained that masturbation was abnormal behavior. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2352, lists masturbation as one of the offenses against chastity. The makeup of semen is different depending on whether a man masturbates or has intercourse. Masturbating is not entirely risk-free. Frequent or rough masturbation can irritate the skin, and forcefully bending an erect penis can cause a gruesome injury called penile fracture. Nearly 60% of penile fractures occur while masturbating. Masturbating in the shower might seem safe, yet penile fractures have occurred there, presumably from slipping and hitting the wall. While Kegel's pelvic floor exercises help tone the vagina, masturbating also helps keep the pelvic floor strong and healthy. The ancient Egyptians believed that the god Autumn created his children through masturbation. The Kajuraho temple in India depicts both male and female masturbation. German philosopher Immanuel Kant considered masturbation worse than suicide, in a certain sense. Masturbating can improve sperm quality by emptying the penis of old sperm. Women with higher testosterone levels report a greater desire to masturbate but less interest in having sex with a partner. If you like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel.